This is Buzz Pregame. Tonight we have Wesley in softball, Alex, Jill, and Laura. So tonight, you guys are here to talk to us about, you know, a preview of your spring season. It's about to come up. And your softball program has been determined as like a winning program from last season. So what have you been doing in the off season to prepare for that? Well, we did a lot of work in the fall, working outside on the field as much as we could before kind of the snow and the winter came on. We have a lot of freshmen, so it was a really good experience for us to kind of break them into West softball and kind of get them up to speed and really kind of bond as a team before we were kind of stuck inside for the winter. Yeah, we just did a lot of um, team stuff, trying to, you know, build the program and um, get everyone on board with what we're about. Um, we're big on, like, you know, being a team and working together, working hard. Um, so we wanted to introduce the freshmen to kind of our work ethic and, um, you know, figure out everyone's limits and push them to them. So did you introduce the freshmen to the work ethic initially, like throwing them in, or did you ease them up to it? We eased them in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, during our second day of season, it was, it was good that we worked them hard in the fall because we had a scrimmage day two, you know, putting them in a game-like situation, and I think they did really well. Yeah, they've been working hard. Um, we're really happy with how things have been going thus far. We're only about a week and a half in, so, you know, I'm not trying to jump to any conclusions, but, um, you know, people are working hard, and that's all that we can ask at this point. And Jill, as a sophomore, you've only been on the team for one season so far, right? Well, two. Oh, two. Sorry about, oh, yeah. sorry about that. Okay. I'm so sorry about that. Um, but, I mean, I guess, what are the changes you've seen so far in the program? Well, I think that the freshmen have really stepped up because I, we have – four upperclassmen. We have three seniors and I'm the only junior. So, you know, we don't have a, an old presence on the team. And so I think that the freshmen is a really good opportunity for them to, you know, take a leadership role. Like we don't have, like realistically, we can't afford to have people playing like freshmen and playing scared. And we need everyone to go in there like we're all the same age and we're, you know, we just need people to step up and do what they can do. So how do you manage to get all the freshmen and all the sophomores on the team to step up and take that role? Um, we treat the sophomores like they're juniors and seniors and we expect a lot out of them, but um, they're definitely up for the task. And, um, you know, as far as the freshmen, we just treat them like, again, like they're upperclassmen, you know, we try to um, stay away from singling them out as freshmen and, you know, everyone, once you step on the field, everyone is a teammate, everyone is equal and we just, um, you know, expect people to play to the best of their ability, you know, they're here for a reason. Um, they've been playing softball for most of their lives, so they know what they're doing. They, we just need to assure them of that. Well, speaking of which, when did you guys start playing softball in your lives? I um, actually started playing baseball when I was really young and didn't switch over to softball until about seventh, or eight, seventh grade. Um, and so that was when I made the switch. And you, Jill? Um, I actually played soccer up until I was like 10 or 11, and my, sis, my younger sister actually started playing softball before me, and I went to one of her games, and it looked really fun, so I started playing at like 12, which is like kind of late for like, you know, 6th, 7th grade, I think. It's kind of late for starting to play, but hey, it worked out. You're here now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I started playing in like t-ball, you know, but um, I got serious in middle school. That's when I started pitching in like 8th grade or so. Um, so yeah, I was big on basketball though back in the day. <laughs> yeah, right. It's it's nice how all of you guys started on different sports and ended up together in softball. Um, so I'm guessing the group is a very nice and cohesive, I guess, warm and friendly group, right? Yeah. yeah, I think we all come from like different places of the country, different schools, different softball teams, but kind of we're all here for the same reason. We all want the same thing, and we all want to be successful. So I think that is what lets us kind of move forward as one solid unit. Yeah, and I think that we, um, we have a lot of experience and um, as upperclassmen on the team, upperclassmen, um, we kind of understand um, like how we want the team to operate and how we want our teammates to feel, how we want to be portrayed as leaders. Um, so I think that we uh, do a good job showing United Front and kind of work play off of each other and um, work toward the same goal. Well, Alex, recently you had a, con a concussion, right? Yeah. So how's the team been working as a unit to help with you? You know, <laughs> it's, uh, it's been hard. It was, it's been, it was my first concussion. It happened the second day of practice at our scrimmage. Um, 
But the team's been really great. I think it's been hard from my end not being able to be there and be with the team. Um, but I think it's hard for them too knowing that I'm not there or I hope that yeah. they're, yeah, I hope really that weird. they're missing me. Um, they're definitely missing me. She's the vocal leader on the team, yeah. so <laughs> gotta try to fill that void a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but hopefully I'll be back uh, in the next week or so, and definitely before spring break, which is when our first games start. And then just looking forward into the future, past the season, where do you see this program heading? Um, I think that our goal, I don't wanna speak for everyone, but um, our goal is to just kind of build off of what we accomplished last year. Um, we do not have the greatest program. Our fresh Alex and I's freshman and I'm sophomore not, year, yeah. Jill's freshman year. Um, and so our goal last year was to just kind of try to build, build the program, bring it out of the slump that we were in. And so our goal this year is to just kind of move forward with that and keep progressing and keep um, making West Softball even more successful. Yeah, and I think we did lose a, we did lose a big senior class last year. But you know, the freshmen, there's no reason why the freshmen can't you know fill voids in different ways. You know, freshmen coming out, you know, being scrappy, like getting the ball in play. Like we don't necessarily need like the most pristine playing. We just need people to like give it their all, like give it heart, and like you know, do what you know, get it done. You know. We did a lot of good things last year. You know, we made it to NESCAX. We won little three. We were ranked in New England for a while. You know, we were playing against the now national champion um, who was Tufts. And I think that we did everything in our ability to be successful. And I think if we just go in with that same mentality, it doesn't matter that we have seven freshmen. You know, we're going to be as successful as we're going to put the effort in for. Well, good luck to your future season. And do you guys have any shout outs you would like to give before we sign off? <laughs> yeah, shout out to our parents. All of our parents. <laughs> shout out to Allie and Caitlin. Kiss you guys. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming on tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next